But here we go then, the final qualifier, heat number 22 of semi-final number two. Moments away. We've had terrific speed where they see Wolfenden in red, Dan Bewley in blue, Berger in white and Belago in yellow. He'll go off the outside. So a massive race for both countries, but you suggest um, uh, for the world champions, this is absolutely vital here to get it right. Just need second and third, and that will put you in the final, of course. So um, Wolfenden on the inside, as we know. And uh, they've handed that, the French have handed that to him. Not sure that's wise, but we will see. So, uh, Berger will go out of gate number two in white, and Belego on the outside. Bewley just taking his time to come up to number three. Must have been a temptation to go back with Lambert, but uh, clearly sticking and keeping faith with, with Dan. Yeah, Dan, you know, he's been in such fine form uh, all season, really. He's just learned so much from the Grand Prix, gained in confidence. Uh, he's, he's a relaxed character that may be part of the thinking, you know, I don't think a, a race like this is going to phase him. Um, but, um, you know, the, the two guys, Grand Prix stars, off the inside of their opposition, you've only got to think that if they can just make it level, then it's advantage Team GB. It is indeed, so um, uh, we will wait and see, and see if these decisions are proven to be right. But uh, nonetheless, Heat 22 is sudden death. A heat that ideally you would want to avoid if at all possible, no doubt about that. But uh, France have battled their way back after a poor start. Same can be said for Great Britain with just two points in their opening outing against the Czech Republic. The Czech Republic a little bit like Finland, not quite as dramatic, but the Czech Republic have been a surprise package tonight doing sterling work. But the world champions here under pressure. Beauty taking his time. He's doing some overwork there on the gardening stakes, yeah, getting his rut ready. I can't say uh, I blame him. The pressure's on. It is indeed. Wants to yeah. get it right. He works. He does indeed. They want to get through to the final. Similar scenario to uh, Poland, who had gates one and three last night, and they made it work. So here we go. Heat 22. Last race of the night, and we're away. Wolfenden's made a superb start on the inside. Beauty there alongside him. Berger trying to keep up the That's inside. Beauty. But Beauty roaring around the outside. Wolfenden allowing him to come around the outside. The ideal scenario. Wolfenden holding nicely, holding firm. Realised his teammate was there. Superb bit of team riding there from Ty Wolfenden, the Great Britain team. They're away, and if they stay like this, they'll be in the final. Wolfenden so aware of what was going on on that first lap. Absolutely knew that he'd got to give Dan Bewley all the room he needed to wind it up going into turn three. Gets him around the outside, happy just to sit back and watch his teammate enjoying himself out front. Bewley firing away out in front, loves that outside line, really looking silky smooth. Wolfenden playing his part superbly well in the early part of the race. Great Britain taking full advantage of gates one and three in heat 22. One last turn to go. Roaring towards the line and they're in the final. They join the Czech Republic and Sweden. Now we know the line up for the grand final on Saturday night. It's been tense times, it's been nervous. Simon Stitch said it in his interview. Nothing really has gone to plan this evening, but when the chips were down in heat 22, Great Britain came through in flying colours. There it is, seven massive points for Great Britain. They go to the final, got a feel for France. They really did work so hard, but possibly a mistake they're choosing gates two and four in the last race for Dimitri Berger and Belego. Yeah, great race from Great Britain. Great first lap from Ty Wolfenden. You've got to hand it to Dan Bewley. He hasn't had uh, too much opportunity. A couple of races prior to that, but when he was called upon in a big pressure race, he absolutely delivered the result we needed did indeed so um, uh, they got it right when they really needed to so a touch of relief there now once again for the great britain team almost exactly the same scenario as last night as yep. poland when they didn't really get their act together and had to do it the hard way we spoke well, about it actually before the meeting kelvin i said to you i'd love to see team great britain just cruise through this and you <laughs> said maybe that's not the way to do it maybe you need to be in the heat of it maybe you need to be in the battle <laughs> Um, did you have a team talk earlier? Well, possibly, but I, I do believe actually a race like that will actually just free them up a bit. They yeah, will be relieved. They've had to work hard. They've been under huge pressure and they've come through in the end. Not ideal, of course, but nonetheless, uh, they have managed to do it. But we'll see that start again in Heat 22. Yeah, the opening lap really uh, about Ty Wolfenden. And you can see he looks across his right shoulder not even halfway on the way to the corner. He realises Dan has made a good enough start. He realised he was on the outside. He gave him all the room he needed to be comfortable to enter turn three uh, with the bike revving probably at about 10,000 RPMs. 
and uh, just gave him the space to feel comfortable, get around the outside. He's so aware, Ty, there. He's looked three or four times before they even get to turn three. Great stuff. So there we go. Great Britain through. They join Sweden and the Czech Republic. Denmark, of course, were seeded through.